A clash between protesters and police last night in Tempe. Video shows a skirmish right in the middle of an intersection at Scottsdale Road just south of the Loop 202. ABC 15's Mike Pelton reaching out to both sides today and also taking a look at the bigger issue of police reform in the Valley. Well, today Tempe police tell me the chief unavailable for an interview, but they say protesters clashed with another group who had opposing views, blocked the intersection, ignored warnings to leave the street, and at one point started throwing objects at officers when they tried to make an arrest. Meanwhile, today protesters say it's PD who turned a peaceful protest into a violent one. Nobody touched the cops. Nobody said anything to the cops. They just rushed us and that's when everything got out of hand. Cell phone video shows part of the skirmish in the middle of Scottsdale Road Monday night. Officers deploying pepper spray as Tempe police say an officer hit in the face with an object and required stitches as several groups protesting the law enforcement shooting deaths of Dion Johnson this year and Dalvin Hollins in 2016. Some protesters though say all they did was block traffic. Officers get this sense in them that they want to tackle people and brutalize people for conducting a misdemeanor offense. Tempe police releasing mugshots of the seven arrests. Their alleged crimes ranging from aggravated assault on police to obstructing a public thoroughfare. The incident, one of many protests around the valley, often peaceful and calling for changes to policing. In June, Democrats called for a special session at the Capitol on police reform. State Representative Issa LeBlanc, who represents Tempe, doubts it will happen. Unfortunately, until uh, more people are affected by police aggression, uh, regardless of political sides, we probably, it will be very hard to see police, re police reform currently under this administration. Asked if he plans to call a special session, Governor Ducey's office says they are working with legislators of both parties. Notes the governor has talked about items like enhanced training for new recruits and current officers. Part of a statement reads, quote, we're learning and listening. This will continue to be an ongoing conversation. More to come. Are we seeing progress? Yes. But is that progress a drop in the bucket, a very big bucket? Yes. Jamar Williams with Black Lives Matter Phoenix Metro says if no special session, they'll see legislators at the regular one, saying the city of Phoenix funding a citizen review board and Phoenix police banning a form of a chokehold, just a few pieces to a much bigger puzzle. We have a long way to go, but it is reassuring to see people willing to put their to put their bodies on the line for what's right. Now, as for the specific skirmish that took place here in Tempe last night, we asked police if they can provide body camera video that shows what they say occurred. They tell me they're reviewing that footage and will provide more information when it becomes available. In Tempe tonight, Mike Pelton, ABC 15, Arizona.